can see and taste the movie at the same time. Is this real? Surely not. Good morning. Today we're in London to find out whether this dining experience is worth the money. We've got Lydia joining us here today. <laughs> Stick around for home renovations, reviews, shopping and vlogs. So today we're outside the Mondrian Hotel and we're going to experience Fork and Film. If you haven't heard of Fork and Film before, it's a dining experience where you watch a movie and you're served the food that you see on screen at the same time. So today we're seeing Princess and the Frog, but they have other movies they've done in the past in New York and LA, including Home Alone and Harry Potter and Ratatouille. But today they're showing Princess and the Frog. It costs £125 for general admission and £175 for VIP. So we're going to go inside and see whether it's worth the price. And I'll give you a review and rating at the end. Let's go on in. Just wait in the lobby and then we're going to be taking an elevator down to the dining experience. So we decided to Disney bound, but it's also St. Paddy's Day. So our green is working very well for us. So I'm wearing green and yellow trousers. So I'm ready for Princess and the Frog. And then Lydia is also wearing green, also ready for Princess and the Frog and St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> So this is the room setup. We have musicians playing. We've got VIP in the front there and there's about 10 general admission. We have popcorn and cornbread to start. And look at this cute candle. I want it. Princess and the Frog themed candle. Disney's Princess and the Frog film has started and we have Tiana's gumbo to start with. So it's served in her daddy's gumbo pot and it tastes extremely spicy so you do get a little tabasco sauce with it i don't think you need to use it because it's spicy already if you don't like spicy food you might want to pass on this dish the timing though was amazing the food came out as it was shown on screen can you guess what's next up you're right it's beignets tiana's famous beignets they were amazing. I could eat those all day. Oh my goodness, they're incredible. Our first drink is the Voodoo Potion. This is the alcoholic version and the mocktail, except it's not. We have two alcoholic versions at the moment and two tarot cards, but later they swap mine out for a mocktail, which is what I ordered. But more on that later. So for the alligator scene, we have an alligator and frog's legs. I didn't actually know that this was a real alligator. We weren't told until the end, which you can probably tell by my face. Is that quirky or weird? Let me know in the comments below. So in LA, they serve this with actual frog's legs. In London, these are New Orleans style chicken strips. Eating dinner with an alligator staring at you, regardless of whether you think it's real or not, is kind of strange. Thank you. See what I mean with the timing? It is perfect timing. This is swamp stew. It's chicken sausage jambalaya served on a lily pad. The second and final drink is the Mardi Gras Mambo. It was extremely sugary. We did have some cool beads attached to the bottom, but a very sugary drink. Kiss the Frog Cake. I was most excited to try this one. As you all know how much I love cake. And this is traditional New Orleans king cake. So it's cinnamon pastry with a sugar glaze but you couldn't really taste the cinnamon. It was just a lot of sugar. So it tasted a little bit like ice and sugar. I get it, there's ice and sugar all over the cake, but that does take over the flavor and that's all I could really taste. So keep watching, cause I am gonna share my review of the whole experience and give it a rating out of 10, which you really don't want to miss. Okay, so we've finished our meal. It was a really cool experience. The theming was amazing. The timing was perfect. So it just matched what was on the screen at the right time, which was incredible. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, it was really cool. I really liked that. Yeah, I thought that was amazing. But I think considering Harrods afternoon tea is half the price of this, I would possibly choose Harrods over this.
Okay, so I'm back home after a long day in London. I decided to finish the review here because it was getting busy in the hotel. So a few things with our meal. We asked for an alcoholic and non-alcoholic drink um, and we received two alcoholic drinks. When I queried this with the server, she said that there is alcohol in mocktails, which there isn't. <laughs> Um, but when I explained we'd ordered one alcoholic and one non-alcoholic drink, they did resolve that quite quickly. Um, again, I put on the preference sheet, no fish, and then did receive seafood in one of the dishes, which isn't great. Like if you've put on your preference sheet, it's not good to have that. So I don't know if other people have had a similar experience. Have you been to Fork and Film? Let me know in the comments below what your experience was. I'm gonna rate it a five out of 10 because of that experience. I think that it's a wonderful idea, but I think for, well, for two of us, it was 250 pound. I think there's better experiences in London for less money. So you can check out my playlist where you can see more experiences you can do it in London. I think at the moment I'd pass on this one. But again, maybe that's just my experience. If you've been, let me know in the comments below because it would be good to share how other people have experienced this. Thanks so much for watching. Do those other things, like and subscribe. It's free to do, but really helps me out. Bye.